Hi, um, today I want to talk about how to calculate the area of a cardioid. So basically cardioid is, uh, is a shape um, like this. So, um, and the generalized formula uh, or the, uh, the function that can define a cardioid is uh, r equal to 2 multiplied by constant and then multiply by 1 plus cosine theta. So this is something you need to memorize, that, uh, which, is, which defines uh, um, the, um, it would trace the line of a cardioid. And um, the area of a cardioid is by taking the, t taking the integral from uh, 0 to 2 pi, basically just drawing a circle. And, um, and the formula is 1 half multiplied by r squared, where r is, uh, is, the function, uh, is, the, is the function that defines a cardioid. So these are the two functions that you need to, de you need to memorize, it, which uh, one define the, uh, the trace, the, trace the, um, the shape of the cardioid, and this is the technique that to, to calculate the area of a cardioid. So basically, we just substitute r into, into in, in, in over here, and then, uh, and then take the integral of the function. And um, so uh, you can pause the video and take a look of this uh, expansion for uh, um, and um, there's one thing that uh, that will need to take a special uh, um, we'll need to take care of it is this one plus cosine theta um, uh, square. So we need to expand this part into one plus uh, two cosine and then plus co uh, cosine squared. So uh, these two are easy to calculate uh, for uh, as an integral, but we don't need the we don't we don't know the integral for cosine squared. So we need to need to um, convert this into a lower degree. So given that, so we have a fun we have a, a formula which is cosine two squared equal to cosine uh, cosine two theta equal to cosine squared minus sine squared. And uh, since sine um, sine theta squared is also one minus cosine squared, so basically this is also equal to two cosine squared minus one. So now we, we want to substitute the cosine squared. So the cosine squared is basically one half uh, cosine two theta plus one. So this is one um, uh, one transformation that we can use to substitute um, cosine squared to a lower degree. So um, and as we keep uh, expanding, and then since uh, our transformation also also introduce uh, two theta into, into our function, so we need to use a substitution method to set uh, u equal to two theta. So du is equal to two d theta. So here, we cosine two theta is basically cosine u multiplied by Two, one one half uh, du since we only have one d theta here so d theta is equal to one half du so that's we that's an, another thing we need to take care of, since we have a uh, um, two theta within cosine so after that is basically the the basic technique for calculating the integral and then don't forget to uh, to substitute both two pi and then uh, minus uh, uh, Minus zero, so that so that uh, substitute two pi into here on um, and then minus sub by substituting uh, substituting uh, zero into this formula and then we'll get the uh, while taking the difference and this is our final solution uh, for the area of a cardioid. So uh, there are two uh, techniques we applied uh, throughout our calculation. To calculate the to calculate the area of a cardio, so um, and then um, and then we also have two um, formulas here we need to memorize it. Um, so thank you very much, and let me know if you have any questions.